Hello friends, Itza with Itza Thoughts here and today I'm here to share with you guys this really fun and easy project um, I'm going to be working on and this is a vase that is going to be decorating my uh, new living room accompanying my new living room set and I think it's totally fabulous that I have the ability to be able to do this uh, using this one fabulous product called Etch All. And what this product does is it literally etches any design or letters or um, phrases that you want onto a couple of different surfaces, which are um, glass, mirrors, uh, marble, slate, ceramic glazed items it's very versatile uh, there's endless possibilities that you can possibly create using this fabulous product and I already did a few of the steps ahead of time and all I did was clean my vase really well and I cut these um, leaves and flowers on my Cricut uh, with a vinyl and I just adhere the vinyl and burnish the vinyl very well so that it's nicely stuck on my vase and I'm gonna start applying this etch all cream um, which is it looks a lot like um, condensed sweet milk but it's not and it's odorless and it's really fun very versatile uh, your imagination is the limit and all you have to do is like I said burnish your image really well to make sure that it's really stuck on there um, that there's no air bubbles and then you just start applying the etch all solution to your entire project And it's thick, so it's it doesn't really run. So you don't have to worry about uh, this running. You just want to make sure that you apply a nice and even coat to your surface. There's a really strong wind and my windows open. I think this is going to give my vase a really um, cool texture look to it. Aside from the awesome design that I, I cut out on my Cricut. Um, it can be a design that you freehand cut on, um, on the vinyl. It can be any kind of stick-on stencil. So this makes it even more fabulous. And it's as easy as this, just applying your etch all cream to your surface and letting it sit for about 15 minutes and then it gets rinsed off on uh, with some water and your finished product is done I want to make sure that I cover everything I'm super excited as a mixed media artist I'm always excited to try new products and 
to play with just new mediums out there to create some fabulous home decor um, items. These make awesome gifts. And the best part of this is that whatever etching solution is not used, it can be scraped off and put right back into your jar. How fabulous is that? <sighs> okay. Looks about done. And I really hope that it catches those streaks because I love it. I'm loving the way it's looking already. So I'm really hoping that the etch all kind of catches the streaks of um, the cream. It looks really fabulous. So I have to let it sit for about 15 minutes and after that you can um, remove the excess etch all cream and put it right back into your jar like this. Easy as that. This way it allows you to create more than just the one project. This space is going to um, house some, some handmade uh, flower, flowers that I created. Out of um, some satin fabric. So that's also um, really fun. I'll show you guys the flowers in a minute. And it's really a mixture of handmade flowers and store-bought leaves. Um, so I will show you guys what this looks like. Let me just kind of move this out of the way. the etch all solution does its job I will share with you guys some of the flowers that I made um, aren't these cute the camera doesn't really capture how fabulous this um, purple pinkish color looks like and all I did was um, get a wooden skewer and wrap it around with floral tape and I started building my flower on that. And these are just layers and layers of petals, which before that looked like this. And all I did was just start um, applying them like this, you know? So I made a few of those and I made them in different sizes. I made them in this color and I made them in this creamish color. For some, I added um, a wire, which allows me to position them any uh, direction that I want. Here's another one. Here's some more. And for this one, I just took some wire and I cut actual flower shapes out of the fabric. And I burned the edges and I, I put the wire through the center of the flower, strung a bead on it and put the wire right back in. And this is what they look like at the bottom. 
one of you can see that. Or you can see the wire right here. And I made it into like a branch thing so I can um, scatter them throughout my floral arrangement. And I made uh, two of those, which I will show you. There's the other one. And here's another flower. So in total, my flower arrangement has uh, seven flowers with two of these. Uh, smaller flowers and I even tried to make some hydrangeas right here so this is like my little hydrangea ball here and the greenery that I'm using for this floral arrangement is uh, these leaves that I purchased at the dollar store So I'm going to have this uh, leaves and all these flowers that are going to make up my flower arrangement. And at the bottom of my container, I'm going to put these, um, these rocks. I have a couple of them here that I have took out just for this project. And what the rocks are going to do is the rocks are going to hold um, the wooden skewers down and it's going to make the vase heavy so it doesn't tilt over. And it adds just another fabulous um, textured element to the flower arrangement. So I have several of these. I'm super excited because I know this is going to look fabulous in my living room. These are the rocks that I'm going to use. And in an earlier um, tutorial, I made these fabulous flowers here using the same uh, circular flower petals. The only difference between this one and this one is that in the center of this flower is a little round styrofoam ball and um, that's what's holding the skewer in place I just punched the skewer in put some hot glue and started wrapping these flower petals around um, around the center around the styrofoam ball which I happen to have a few here, so I can show you guys really quick how that was done while we wait for the itch all solution to do its job. So this is the little styrofoam ball, and I don't have any of these wooden skewers with me. I can always add that after. So right now I'm just gonna find something to poke a hole through it, and it's gonna hold um, hold the styrofoam ball while I cover it up with the flower petals. So I'm just going to use a paper piercer. And for this project, you're going to need your hot glue gun and some hot glue sticks. So these I just layered. Oops, I moved my camera. I just layered the um, flower petals on top of each other like so, like this. Just layer after layer till you get the 
the fullness of your flower that you want, you you put a dot of hot glue in the center of each each flower petal, and then you just put your center, your decorative flower center. I'm using for these. I use Angela Holt's uh, bling, which I totally love. And back to this one. So what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start building your flower around this styrofoam ball and I have one that I had started earlier here so if this was the, the wooden skewer you'll just uh, put some hot glue there and punch the, the skewer through the styrofoam ball and then just wrap the skewer with floral tape And I will continue to build up this flower. Now you do is just add some hot glue. It's not hot enough yet. Glue. You get your flower petal and you wrap it around like so. My camera keeps moving. Okay. You do that. Be very careful because this is fabric you're working with and um, the hot glue will uh, seep through so be very careful not to burn yourself. Super excited about this product because as a mixed media artist, um, I like to play with different mediums. And sometimes I like to play with these mediums in the non-traditional way. So I can't wait to really start playing around with it. The edge hall um, to create fabulous jewelry pieces and maybe some canvases. Um, try to in incorporate the edge all solution into some canvas work is going to be challenging which i totally love i love to challenge myself all the time when i'm creating art um, i like to play with new mediums and use them in the non-traditional way like a mad scientist sort of <laughs> And my craft room is my, uh, my dungeon where I create all my art. So here you can see that the flower is building up. And when your flower is as full as you want it, um, all you have to do is add the last couple of petals shiny side up. a previous uh, tutorial where I show you guys how to make these flower petals so uh, you guys will just have to watch my previous video it's a very simple very easy technique just have to be very careful
These make excellent um, Mother's Day gifts. Um, these are the kind of flowers that anybody would be happy to receive because they're not high maintenance. And they will last you a really, really long time. You see how it's coming along? That's what it looks like on the bottom. It's almost time for me to rinse off my vase, which is perfect because I'm almost done with this flower. Just need to add one more petal and it's done. Look how full that is. Doesn't this look like a real flower? I love it. Totally, totally love it. I might not even add the skewer to this one. I might use it like this on a wreath. Okay, so um, let me go get my vase. And I'm going to scrape off some of that excess, um, excess uh, edge oil cream off of it. And then I'm going to take it and rinse it off and uh, arrange my flowers. Okay. So here's the vase. And let me get my little squeegee. First, I'm going to try to fix my camera. Ugh. Sorry, you guys. Anyhow, okay, so I'm going to scrape some of this etch all solution back into the container. This is my favorite part, I think. I love this type of medium where it's reusable. Fabulous. They have a dipping solution um, where you can just put the liquid into a plastic container and dip whatever 
uh, object you're trying to etch on. Uh, but I, I didn't have enough to cover this whole base. Um, so that's why I chose to use the cream rather than um, the dipping solution. And either way, either solution that you use, they are both reusable and whatever you don't use, you can always put it back in the little container and use it for your next project. So as you can see, I have scraped off and put back a lot of cream in here. Let me just wipe off the edges, put the lid on, and I will be back. I'm going to rinse this off in water really quick. Okay, friends, I'm back, and I love the way this project came out. I totally, totally love it. I left one of the floral designs on there just to show you guys how easy it is to peel it off comes right off wow I love it because it also took in some of those streaks which makes it look uh, so untraditional and different and I love it when my projects come out uh, out of the ordinary different can you guys see that how beautiful that etching cream just did a fabulous job it totally frosted the outside of the vase where I didn't have the vinyl and it captured perfectly the image that I used. Wow, I love it. Love it. Fabulous. Okay, so the rest of it is very uh, basic, very easy. You just put your You can also put a candle in here. Oh my goodness. You can put um, a tea light in here. So 
I have my rocks in there. And now I just put the floral ones in there, the, the leaves inside first. And then I'm just going to randomly add my flowers. Oh, I love the way this came out. Don't worry, I'm going to take pictures of this so you guys are going to have a very good idea of how this looks uh, with the still pictures. But so far, I am a very, very happy camper. So till next time guys, I strongly encourage you guys to try new products and explore and have fun. Let me see if I can move my camera so I can capture the whole uh, the whole flower face. Here's the floral arrangement and how beautiful doesn't that look? Wow. So till next time, happy crafting and please stay posted. I'll be back surely with more HL projects.